Hello everyone, Pop Strings here, finally, long time no see indeed. Uh, it's been a while since y'all have seen my face around, uh, just don't make fun of the hair, it's a, it's a work in progress right now. So this video is going to really touch base on where I've been a little bit and to let everyone know that I'm still here, I'm still active, I promise, I'm alive. Um, it's been what, like two or three years since I've made a video? It, it's been way too long. Time has flown by. Um, I can't believe it. Uh, from a pandemic to public chaos, it's just been insane. Uh, as far as my personal life goes, uh, which assuming if you haven't clicked away yet, uh, you're probably wanting to hear a little bit about that. Um, that's also been insane. <laughs> I could have had it worse, but I I'm thankful now, but so, since my last video, uh, there's been a couple reasons why I have not uploaded or hardly been active at all. Uh, for one, one big reason because of my ac my absence is I went through an arson, uh, which completely destroyed most of my equipment except for my shitty Dell laptop, which I'll get to later. Uh, so basically, I lost everything. After that, I was in a relationship that ended with jail time on their part, a restraining order, and a local news article. Uh, given my situation, it was understandable that I moved across country because I was sort of advised by the authorities to, you know, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> From that moment, everything changed. Ironically, the incident I'm talking about also happened on the anniversary of Pearl Harbor. So it's memorable, sadly. Um, for many reasons, but it, it changed my life forever. The way I think, act, and just about everything. Uh, I left my job, moved across country, again, lived in an RV with a little bit, of, with the little bit that I had, and then released my second or third to the most recent community post uh, on my channel, got another job, started a new life, and within nine months, I had developed a new problem, a stalker. Which given with what I just came from, which that was not a welcome sight. I mean, in any situation, something like that is not a welcome sight, but ever. But in, in my headspace, that my mental, my mental stuff right then and there, that was horrible. But, oh god. This, this stalker situation also ended in yet another restraining order, another broken home, and another lost job. Because unfortunately, this person that I'm speaking, to, uh, speaking about was also my supervisor and knew a lot of people. So there I was, lost everything again, and then I was like, ah, let's check up on YouTube and see what's crack -a then my original, the OG Dell laptop that kept the channel chugging. It was the OG, y'all. It shot craps on me completely. I was so heartbroken because that was originally what I started my channel with. It was like losing an old friend. It, it, it was worse than that um, because I, I had originally, the channel that I have now is technically not my original channel. Uh, I started my channel back in 2010. 2010, I started my ch that channel on that Dell, and then here we are, and it just shot crops, like in, this is like January, February. I was so upset. Lost hope with that. And so like any mentally stable person, sarcasm intended, I chopped my hair off, put my septum back in, yeah, the, the, the whole shebang, and decided that maybe, the new location wasn't for me. Uh, so for for that decision, it was the first decision I had made for myself in like two years because of the shit that was happening had caused me to have to be forced to go somewhere else or be forced to do this. Um, and so what did I do? I said, fuck it. I made a new life all over again and it's not perfect. But some really amazing things happened. 
I moved again, and it was my choice this time. I got away from the stalker, I got away from all this, and some other things that I'm not mentioning that I won't go into. And I met someone amazing, and I got remarried. I did exactly what I thought I would never do. I found someone that I didn't think existed, and I married married them. And I got a brand new computer. So I'm still mentally dealing with things on my own, but nevertheless, here I am. And looking back, it makes me smile because it's kind of like I'm proud of myself. And for the first time in my entire life, I I can actually say that. I've grown a lot, I've matured a lot, and I've changed a lot. And I can honestly say that the progress I've made thus far, I'm very proud of myself. And I'm proud of everyone in my fan base that has, you know, grown up watching me or, you know, maybe they're new. And in the past week, they've done something different and they've matured and done the same thing. I'm proud of everybody. Uh, The other thing that makes me smile is that looking back at my cringy content I've made before that got so big, uh, the situations I was in at the time of those videos that I told no one about, except for maybe some very close family members that knew of what I was going through, and now looking down and seeing what my life is like, I, it's surprising. It is. I feel so alive, and that's a feeling that I've never had. Bringing back this channel was a whole section of necromancy that was nothing short of impossible or a miracle. Um, If you, but but here I am. If you've made it this far into the into this video, there's a few exciting mentions um, and a couple of things we kind of touch base on because you're probably going to hear or see them or somewhere, somewhere. (laughs) Um, For one, I've done, I've redone all of my social media, uh, and I would be willing to bet by the time this video comes out, they're still a work in progress. And I can tell you, yes, they are. Uh, From from past puppet strings to future puppet strings, they're still a work in progress. Drink some coffee. Continue, okay? (laughs) I know you're having trouble, but you got this. I've also redone my Patreon. Uh, You're more than welcome to go check it out. Uh, I've done some new things like reconfigured it. Patreon's changed a lot since I was like really active on there. Uh, And I've, I'm still doing, redoing things, uh, but I have been re-innovating it like never before. It's pretty kick-ass. All of my updated social links presently are in the description and likely going to be at the end of this video as well. Uh, Let's just see again how much coffee I have in my bloodstream, Uh, but either way, uh, my new social media, my redone social media, you will have access to it. I have completely abandoned accounts that I could not get get into. Uh, I think the only one thus far that I have not been able to get into and I'm just gonna have to give up on is my Facebook page, which is fine. I've got everything else to my knowledge at the time of this video. Um, As you can see, I do not have the best video capturing software. Uh, As I mentioned, I've redone my Patreon, so if you wanna help speed that process along, I would be, I would extremely appreciate it. All of my donations and what little I do get paid from YouTube, it goes right back into the channel. Uh, So I hope you guys enjoy the future of Puppet Strings. With any luck, videos will become more and more frequent. With the life, with the way life is right now, it's hard to tell. With everything going on, trying to figure out when this channel is going to be back into the full swing of things, it's hard telling. So recently I have had a death in the family a few days ago and a few th- other things. I would like to mention that. And so if I'm really active one day and I'm not the next, it is not that I'm trying to vanish again. It's that 
I'm dealing with things of my own just like everybody else. Um, I'm most active on Twitter and the community post tab on my YouTube. So again, if you ever feel like I'm mysteriously, mysteriously pull a Houdini, you can look there. I promise you I've likely updated there. The future of this channel is unclear, but I can tell you that it will be moving forward. Uh, the content is the unclear part. Uh, well, I do love doing creepy pasta inspired stuff. It's gotten to the point where my connections and the people that I would contact and be in contact with, I no longer have access to those people anymore. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to go forward with that type of content, but I have plans for other types of content that is not really what I normally do. Um, but I'm always open to feedback. Every time I see a comment about feedback, I try to either DM you guys or I try to reply to you guys and be like, that's a really good idea. I have polls all the time on my Patreon uh, and sometimes Twitter. Uh, Twitter's more of my satirical side, but um, my Patreon especially, I ask for you guys' opinions and feedback all the time because it helps and it's what made my channel what it is today. So if you have absolutely any feedback, no matter how small, how big, how it may seem silly to you, please comment it because I am making note of it, I assure you. Uh, but wrapping this video up, thank you guys so much for sticking around and being as loyal as you have been. Again, I am so sorry for how long I have been gone and the absence and the time that you guys have had to wait is absolutely ridiculous. And I understand why a lot of people have unsubscribed. I understand why a, little, a lot of people have even be a, been a little hateful. I get it. I do. I have YouTubers that I've followed for years and they just all of a sudden were just, are just gone. And it kind of pissed me off a little bit. I was like, I really enjoyed you. Where did you go? So I get where that anger is coming from, and it's valid. I'm not mad at any of you guys. I'm not sitting sitting in my bed at night like, God, Chunky Monkey 666 said this to me on Twitter. No, I'm not doing that. Um, like I said, I love and care about you guys, every single one of you. Every single one of your opinions, your feelings are valid to me, and I appreciate that you are voicing that. But once more, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you again for giving me the motivation and thank you for watching this video. If you've made it this far, you deserve a cookie. <laughs> I hope to see you guys in the next video. I don't know when that'll be, but I have plenty of scripts that I've been writing as we speak. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.